Power to the extra cigarette lighter was spliced into that splice. We don't want the car to catch on fire. Get a gander at that, folks. That wiring is great. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Guys, welcome back to Mile High Misfits. Today, we're back in the limousine, and uh, the objective for today is to be uh, diagnosing the wiring a little bit and uh, trying to make it less... What's the word I'm looking for? Less fucked. Shitty. Yes. Both of those words. So, uh, we're going to get started. We're going to show you guys exactly what we're working with here. That shit's fucked. We're gonna look at the window wiring first because that's pretty important. Um, we think this guy grounded out. I don't know what kind of impact happened there, but it looks like somebody maybe like ran a screw through that or something. That definitely grounded and because it's connected to the window switch. We're thinking that that's the reason why this window stopped working. So we're gonna try and get that working, see if maybe a fuse blew or something like that, and then make sure that the wiring is all correct. So keep you guys posted. All right, step one is done. We got this guy taped back up and we took out that splice. So that's all repaired. Now we're going to take a look at some of this stuff over here. Um, see if any wires are jankly cut or something like that. Like, obviously that's not good. Okay, so what happened is uh, these wires were just uh, stripped back and then wrapped around these two on their bare spot for whatever reason. And they weren't going to anything either. And they're just exposed hanging out in the door panel so that's not good we're gonna get that sealed back up working hard son hardly working pops we went through all of our interior fuses right here with a multimeter we just checked continuity across the bridges here found two of these so a 20 amp and a 10 amp that were blown uh, both of these went to cigarette lighters on the inside so replace those now we're just gonna check the wiring underneath the front cigarette lighter and the rear cigarette lighter just to see if there's anything grounding out with those. We did see that the uh, front cigarette lighter isn't connected to anything, so that's awesome. And then we also discovered this guy, this hot wire that has 12 volts to it, that was just hanging out underneath, <laughs> underneath the uh, driver's side footwell. So, you know, fire hazards all over this thing. There's just, <laughs> there's just fucking wires everywhere. <laughs> so, Wish us luck, boys. Put an F in the chat. Splice in the factory harness here. Power to the extra cigarette lighter was spliced into that splice. And then this is going somewhere else. We're struggling to stay organized right now. Uh, so we found some of this ghetto front wiring and our quest to fix our back windows uh, is tied into the front cigarette lighter, which is tied into what used to be well, at least we're guessing used to be the rear fan speed control. And the wires here, as you can see, these wires are running the length of the car all the way to the back. So we need to go ahead and make sure that these are not gonna kill us. All right, guys, we just disconnected the uh, ground and power for the fan speed stuff that was up here. So now we can take out this entire thing. I don't think it's really about weight reduction at this point. It's more like we don't want the car to catch on fire. And one of the dashes always glitching out. It's probably like low fucking voltage. <laughs> you can see a fucking power draw on it from some of the some of this shit. This is spliced into one of the OEM wires, so we can undo that splice. And then we just gotta trace the red wire, and then we'll pretty much be cleaned up over here. Alright, this thing is out. You should be able to pull the wire through now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I did, I did jump just a little bit. <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Gotcha, bitch! Don't worry, guys, these don't hook up to anything that we know of. You guys heard it here. This is safe. Boom, amputated. Okay, bro, hit it. We did it! This window has never worked in our ownership of this limo okay. before. Hell yeah. Check this shit out, boys. Let's go, baby! Both the windows work now. Let's get it. Oh my God, guys, game changer. We got the lights to work on the doors. Woo! Let's go. It looks bad right now, but we're actually making progress. We've traced our power wire for the dome lights uh, down to this orange wire. And now we've traced it to a purple wire, which is going under the carpet towards the glove box <laughs> area. Yes, it's bad. Um, 
trust the mad scientific process right now as we're making progress and finding more electrical gremlins. Well, look, there's like four wires in here. Well, there's actually more than that. And then for some reason, they're just all tied to ground power. <laughs> yeah, they all just go to two. <laughs> Get a gander at that, folks. That wiring is great. That looks awesome. It's almost like there's no reason why this wiring wouldn't work. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Let's try oh to strangle him. <laughs> yeah, there's enough wiring in here to hang ourselves with. Wait, you cannot put that in the video. Not only are we fixing one shitbox today, but we're also fixing another shitbox. Looks like this was our issue. Um, I'm going to re-splice these together. Instead of doing the crimps, I'm going to solder it back together like a normal functioning human being. And then this guy right here, as you can see, was completely stripped apart. So I'm going to fix that as well because there's only like three wires holding it. But I checked it. We do have power to this now. So um, after that, front cigarette lighter should work. This light works. So that's good. So yeah, that's one less thing that is plaguing us right now. So we can put that back together. And then everything up here, I think, should work. All right, guys, check. We got the uh, front cigarette lighter working now. Boom. So now uh, we can close that case but we have plenty more wires to go through okay we're testing we're jumping some wires together think... because we have some suspicions that this is pinned incorrectly so we're guessing the reason these two back here don't have real connectors on them and look like that is because this was for this is the harness out of a four-door fleetwood probably related to the fire incident of 2004 so we get 12 volts here on this pink wire, which isn't going to anything because there's only three wires here and the pink's going into an empty pin. So, we're so gonna, we're gonna try and jumble the pins around and see if we can make something happen. And so now we got these guys hooked up. We're gonna flip on the key and hopefully these lights will work now if everything goes as planned. If not, we got a nice fire extinguisher over there and- uh, And we got flashlights when the lights don't work. Yep, and that. All right, so we got power to it but <laughs> no switch the switch doesn't work and it's not just that one because this one also doesn't work so we've got too much power now we now we're Infinite confused power. so ryan's using the switch now we realized that they were only on because the doors were open and we're fucking stupid <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> Click so, your button. okay open up the door real quick open up the door bam Woo! comes on okay close it and then ready Bam! Okay, switches work on all levels now. Let's fucking go, baby. We don't know how doors work, but we can rewire a car. There's a hot wire just fucking exposed over here. Oh. I like how they just pinched all the wires in this fucking clip. So these are the switches to the middle seat, because you always need a moving middle seat. So we cut it out. <laughs> oh, wow, what a strong man. All right, guys, quick recap for what we did today. We did some wiring diagnosis. We've got the dome lights working now. And uh, we also did uh, some window regulator fixes and some window wiring fixes. We also ripped out a ton of the ghetto wiring that was causing a lot of problems. So our next steps, we're gonna be doing the fuel lines. And so stay tuned for that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed that content for today, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our limo content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.